Hello and welcome to Gene Lab Chat. Today we'll be interviewing Dr. Cahill from Queen's University Belfast. Many of us know that hibernation and related metabolic states help organisms survive through extreme environments and conditions. What's less known is the role of those states and their potential to protect against chronic low-dose radiation exposure. Dr. Cahill and colleagues assessed the effects of synthetic torpor in zebrafish and compared them to the results in mouse data available from Open Science Dataset 47 and found several interesting corroborations with mammal models. In this interview, Dr. Cahill describes how the gene lab data systems contributed to this publication. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Cahill. Could you please let our audience know the most important finding of your study? So in our study, we explored the biological impacts um, of conditions likely to be encountered uh, during a mission to Mars, which would expose astronauts to extend the periods of radiation and microgravity. So using a secret face model, we focused on understanding how chronic low-dose radiation, akin to what would be experienced on a journey to Mars, affects liver health and whether induced hypothermia offers protective effects. So we observed that chronic low-dose radiation led to significant liver damage in superfish, and this was um, evidenced by increased cell death, a pronounced stress response, um, and alterations in lipid metabolism and immune responses. Um, we also compared our radiation group with transcriptomic signatures of space flow mice and found shared responses and changes to metabolism, for example which is commonly observed um, during space flight. So under hypothermic conditions, our data showed a reduction in metabolic activities, including a decrease in oxidative phosphorylation and the TCA cycle, um, suggesting a down regulation of metabolic processes akin to what is observed in hibernate animals. So we also observed an upregulation of hypoxia signaling, um, which, which suggests low cellular oxygen concentrations. And this would lead to reduced uh, formation of reactive oxygen species during radiation exposure and potentially diminish um, cellular damage. Um, furthermore, hypoxic signaling can negatively regulate apoptotic pathways. Um, and this was also observed in our study. So, when examining um, the campaigned um, effects of radiation exposure and induced hypothermia, we observed uh, a mixed phenotype. So while there were clear signs of radiation-induced stress, um, such as cell cycle arrest, there were also indications that hypothermia might mitigate um, some of the effects of radiation um, and potentially through these hypoxic-induced um, pathways. So a crucial aspect to our study was um, drawing parallels with hibernating animals. So hibernation involves significant metabolic downregulation, and this is similar to what we observed in our zebrafish model um, of induced um, torpor. So our findings show a lot of uh, shared responses to these um, hypothermic conditions, including um, DNA repair and and the apoptotic and pro-survival um, signaling pathway. So just to conclude then, I think that this study shows that zebrafish can be an excellent model for characterizing um, the effects of space flight and as a tool for understanding how our hypothermic states can offer uh, radio protective um, properties. Thank you. And my second question, how did the gene lab data systems help assist you in your work so you could achieve these research goals? So the gene lab database played a really crucial role in our study as it provided access to transcriptomic uh, data sets from model organisms that have been exposed to space flight. And this allowed us to perform a comparative analysis with our radiation group to validate and contextualize our finding. Thank you, Dr. Cahill. We appreciate the time you spent to share this information with us and with our viewers. And to our audience out there, you can learn more about this work how to join the analysis working groups and access the data set analyzed in this work with the links provided in the description section below. Thank you and have a wonderful day.